Okay, so today I am making fingertips for my guy in Dallas that's making himself a hand. And I thought I'd show you how I do it again. Uh, so I used two syringes, <clears throat> one marked A, one marked B for obviously, you know, the A and B silicone. Um, and I figured out that two draws of each syringe will fill up these cavities and give me just just a little bit of leftover in the bottom of the cup. So I usually keep my silicone in the uh, refrigerator but but I didn't this time. Um, it's important to get pretty well a full draw of each one of the A and B parts. So I draw it up to, to nine or ten units. And then I just put them in a um, just a plastic cup. So there's one at A. And we're, boy, it is cold this morning, so the silicone is, is flowing slow. Okay. And that is two. Okay. Be sure to never mix up your syringes, otherwise uh, your silicone will go off when it's in storage, which sucks. So, see that one's marked B. Not that I've ever had that happen. That wouldn't be why my A silicone is, is slightly lower than my B silicone. And two. Now, right now, technically, the clock is going. So, you know, need to not, need not be screwing around too much. Uh, from there, I take just a piece of plywood, you know, a piece of quarter-inch plywood. Give it a quick stir. Be sure to get all the way out to the bottom edges and scrape it off. And then everybody's favorite part. Let's spin. So we put it in there, put the cap on and turn that on. Close off our port. You can see it's starting to bubble. So I usually let it go until it starts or stops foaming. You know, not to where it doesn't have, like, all the bubbles, but, you know, just where it's most of the bubbles are gone. And sometimes, you know, if it has a lot of bubbles in it, what I'll do is I'll pull the vacuum twice. So, you can see it's kind of slowing down, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll drop the vacuum, and then I'll do it again. 